guys, it's Thursday, so today we're going to talk about my inspirations. You probably know a lot of them. They're mostly on YouTube and stuff. There's a couple bands that I like really like and they inspire me a lot too, so here we go. Okay, so um, <laughs> today, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do the, uh, the video diary. Are you ready? Because this might get boring. Shay Carl and Katie Lip Butler. I've been watching the Shay Tarts for four years. Danielle introduced me to them four years ago and I fell in love. I've been watching them constantly, every day, <laughs> come home after school, watch the vlog, and I've grown up with them kind of thing. So they're just like, I, I can't even explain it. They give me hope. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Shay Carl is, he's the definition of the best dad. I mean, the guy does everything for his kids and his wife, and I think it's so cool that he can be, do, like, do what he loves and still provide for his family, and I think that's really cool. <laughs> Shay Carl was really overweight and he made his goal that he was gonna lose weight. It took him a while but he finally lost like a hundred pounds and he ran like three marathons and I think that is so cool. I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't think I could be able to run for that long because it's crazy but I'm so like proud. I'm so proud of you honey. <laughs> Ninety-four of you completing your twenty. <laughs> made it. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes from Shay Carl is, "Happiness is a choice. You have to make yourself go to your job, and if you don't like it, then." Go try to find another job. If you aren't trying to make yourself happy, you won't be happy. Charles Trippy. Out that um, when the doctor came in, and he said that I had a uh, like a tumor. I have a tumor in my head. This is kind of briefly what it looks like. The man went through brain cancer. <laughs> he is so about living his life and. Just because crappy things happen in life doesn't mean you should stop living it. And I really, really, really look up to him for that. Because life gets hard and, and sometimes you just really need some motivation and you need to tell yourself that you're going to keep on living. And just because bad things happen doesn't mean that you should dwell on it. And <laughs> CTFXC. Um... I've been, I haven't been watching for all five years, but I started watching about two years ago, and I've grown to love them, and the news that Charles said that they were going to get a divorce, it really upset me, to be honest. Um, I really looked up to them as a couple, and it's just kind of like disappointing, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to, like, I'm, I don't, I still love them both. I'm not picking sides because that's ridiculous. Pierce the Veil is my favorite band. I have listened to them for probably four or five years. And I, they just give me, they make life better for me. Not, they haven't saved my life or anything like that. I really don't think that fans can do that, but um, if they do for you, that's great. I personally just don't, but they just make me happy, and they just seem like a really like great group of friends that just love what they just do. Another one of my inspirations is, of course, Danielle. She gets me through every day, and I look up to her so much because she is amazing. <laughs> she. When she does something, she dedicates herself 120%, and I think it's, I wish I could do it, because I know I slack off so much, 
and I wish I could have the mentality of her and just tell myself that I need to do it, but I can't, and she can, and I just really admire her for that. Watching and listening to the people that are in my, my inspiration, they taught me that it's okay to be me, and it's one of my biggest problems is self-confidence, and I doubt myself a lot, and um, they just help me to realize that it's okay to make mistakes. So these are my inspirations, and I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to be here every Thursday, and Danielle's going to be here every Tuesday. So I guess I'll see you guys next Thursday.